Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Heat Ultimate Edition. Plus, and in this episode of our season as Todd Gillen is number 38, Crossley Brands truck, we're going to Eldora for the Eldora Dirt Derby. And this is a special event. I saw him win with his Crossley truck, so I've decided to bring it here. I've probably driven this truck a bit too much, but tomorrow is the end of the regular season in this championship. Last episode, we raced at Kentucky, and we finished fifth, which is pretty good, considering in that race, I was about to blow a tire, so I just I just laid off for the last few laps. Matt Crafton got his second win of the season. So yeah, you'll see right here, Yeah, he's got two wins now, and he's chilling all the way back in seventh. He'll be in the playoffs. I think all these guys right here will be in there. We are 28 points behind Stuart Friesen with two races to go. But uh, we're second. So if I can't get him, at least I'll get second. I'm only one point in front of Grant Infinger. So i got to worry about that guy. Uh, we're not bringing any special setup to Eldora. We're just going to run default. Um, I'm used to this being a pretty easy track in these NASCAR Heat games. But we're going to have to see how it goes. Ah, so this is Eldora in this game. Things just look a bit vivid on the Nintendo Switch because they have to cut down the graphic fidelity. That does not look anything like Todd Gillen. Also, I'm bringing the, the cold trickle vibes into this video. I don't know when the last time I wore this jacket while playing this game, but I try not to wear the same damn thing every freaking video. So I'm gonna skip the practice. I can never remember what buttons it is press. It's like press the Y button and press the A button, and then they're all located weird places. Man, I wish that Nintendo Switch controllers had vibrations. This controller doesn't vibrate. Honestly, I don't think it really needs it in order for me to drive good in a racing game like this because you can just watch what the truck is doing and develop this concept of how it's reacting to everything. So we're starting 11th. I've got to pass 10 trucks to get to the lead. That I can do. We're starting in front of Stuart Friesen. We're setting up to get stage points and gain those on him. And then I also need to finish ahead of him, of course. We can see how close we can be to him going into the final race of the season. Zane Smith starting on pole. Matt Crafton is up there. Still running really well. Great momentum off of his win last weekend. Now we're 10th, so someone got sent to the back. Oh my gosh, it's so blue. Why aren't the lights on? It's nighttime and the lights aren't on. Oh, Ty Majeski, he qualified well and he got sent to the back. And then you got Tanner Gray. Now, I think he also qualified well, though. But, you know, sometimes Ty Majeski will have a good run. It's nine laps in the first stage. Yeah, see, there's Ross Chastain in the 40. So, yeah, that's who I was thinking of. I need to get to the inside. Ugh, kind of cut that guy off to do it, but I did. Oh, my goodness. The wind on this day that I'm recording on. If I was actually recording this video, like, you know, the day before it comes out, or on the day that it, that it comes out, I wouldn't have this problem. But, uh... No, I'm recording like a week ahead of time so I can focus on other things. Jennifer Joe Cobb is in the top 10. I was expecting to be running a little bit better than this. There's no tire wear at this track. So, it's just all about how you run. Now, I've gone from 11th or, or 10th to 5th. And Zane Smith, he started on pull and he's falling back. We'll be able to get to him for 4th. Who is that leading the race right now? Zero zero truck. I don't feel like I ever see that driver lead it. Where did Stuart Friesen come from? Maybe I would know if I had a mirror, but Motorsport Games just putting out as many NASCAR games as possible before they cease to exist and go bankrupt without mirrors. I'm running the top of the track where I can keep up a lot of momentum. Well, I don't, wouldn't expect anyone to pass me on the bottom, but yeah, we're clear left. Okay, that was a great corner. Gotta figure out exactly what entails a great corner. 
as we go through this race. Uh, back end is, is loose, keeps kicking out, and that's the one thing that you don't want. You want the truck to turn, but you don't want the back end kicking out too hard. I don't, you know, Jordan Anderson is running dead last. He's the first guy to fall lap down. Still got three laps left in this first stage. I'm finding this race to actually be a lot longer than the ones that we usually do in this season. Which is weird because it's dirt track. I figured they might have them be shorter or something like that. I think this is the biggest event of the truck series season now. Well, I mean, it was. And now they don't do it anymore. Instead, they go to Knoxville and have a shit show. That is a lot of lap traffic. And I don't think I can count on to slow down the leader enough for us to get there. But we have great restart speed no matter where we go. So maybe I can just take the lead next restart. You stupid fucking lap trucks. You're, you're making me lose points. I'm trying to gain points and I'm losing points. Why does Stuart Friesen just have to be fast? No, I want points. I want points! God fucking damn it! I want points! I hate this shit! No, I lose two points! Fuck! Angela Ruck. I, I didn't want to believe it. Just get, get, get out. Get, go, next stage. We gotta go get those fucking points. We're in all these damn lap trucks I'm trying to get through. I'm expecting the lap trucks to slow down the leaders. No, they're just slowing down me. They ain't slowing down Angelo at all. Angela over here just comes to win. They didn't say she was fast tonight or anything. No, she's just doing this. So this stage is one lap longer, and I cannot fucking beat Stuart Friesen. I can't even fight this guy. Got one outside now. Clear high, clear high. Smoking. That lap is the best. Car on the outside now. Clear all around. Got a car high now. Look ahead for me. Clear outside. Careful, still there. Clear line. Got one outside. Clear left. Great! Great! Fucking great! Angela doesn't have to pass anybody. I have to constantly pass people. And they knock me into the wall. Where the hell does Mike Harmon come from? Where did Angela come from? Where? What? Ugh. Ugh. I'm ahead of Stuart Friesen. Gained back the points that I just lost. This thing is all bashed up and torn to shit now. Can't get clear on the inside. I'm just getting knocked up. I thought this was going to be easy. It is easy. It's not easy enough. This truck that scrubs off an immense amount of speed. I can't find a line to be at because I constantly have to pass people. So I got to dive into the corner and then wash up. Ugh, the back end keeps on kicking out. So I'm not going to win this stage. I wish Tony Stewart stopped saying people are coming to my inside. I wish that wasn't happening at all. That way he wouldn't have to say it. I never have a mirror, so I have to look behind me. I'm tired of looking behind me. Just make it so I can see ahead and behind me at the same time. That's great for is so much better than this game. So much better. I've got seven seconds of damage that I cannot repair because we don't take pit stops on dirt. I thought maybe they, they did some kind of pit stops in shit because the race is so long, but, but no. This is our first time coming to a restart on the front row. We were supposed to do this at the beginning of the second stage, but no, that did not happen. And, okay, then. I guess I'll just get knocked into the wall because you've got the entire room for the bottom of the track and you're just driving into me. You stupid fucking whore. Ugh. And I just go in and take the lead. If, if I had if the, the whole freaking track, I could actually take corners properly. But no, I have to keep on passing and passing and passing. And taking corners wrong. 
to make the passes. And I can't get clear. I swear to God, it takes like three laps to pass one freaking truck once you're with the leaders. Still not clear. Still getting dumped over here. She's all over my fucking anus. Oh my God, go away! Oh, what the fuck was that? This, this, I, I should be having fun right now. I don't get. I, I don't get why I'm not having fun. I. I'm not happy unless I'm winning the race and getting a lot of points on Stuart Friesen. Which is impossible to do whenever he's, he never goes away. That's the theme here. The Lincoln Park theme. And you're going to go doing that Dale Reynolds fucker shit and knocking the front of my truck out of the way with your ass. I have to wander all over the goddamn track to get around somebody and then I can't do it because they, they just... Like they've got more mechanical grip, which is weird because we're on dirt. But God damn it, like they can wander all over the damn place and just find grip anywhere. I I need them to get held up by lap track. What they just go right around it. Something about this is, is just really strange. Like she's still going the same freaking speeds, despite there being lap traffic, it's weird because, I mean, I guess she can just slide right around them. But usually you get held up more by lap traffic on dirt. I don't feel like I'm ever clear because I have to constantly be setting up to make passes and then ruining the corner to do so. If I'm going to win this race, this would be by miracle because I cannot pass Angela Rutsch. That's just too much to ask for. I'm trying to pin her behind the trucks. Finally, she's actually stuck behind them. Every other time, she's just sliding around. Can't see behind me. Okay, she's still chilling back there. Let me put the leaderboard on so I know where Stuart Friesen is. He's he's third. He's freaking third. My nose won't stop itching. Stop distracting me, stupid body functions. Look, look, I can't take a corner right because shit won't stop itching. I need like, have nose pads whenever I play video games that way I, I cannot experience irritation on the face is that Matt is that Matt Crafton I think that's Matt Crafton that sucks Stuart Friesen still chilling in third all fine and dandy Angela Rutsch is coming back because she got through lap traffic. I mean, for a while I haven't really been dealing with much of it at all. Somehow I've wandered right up behind Matt Crafton. Like, this guy was supposed to run really well this race. What happened? How did he fall this far? Okay, so we're finally going to get our fourth win of the season. Stuart Friesen just lost two spots on the last lap. What the hell? Mm. Mm. Why does my nose itch? Stop it. Oh, we can do donuts. Yeah, let's, let's do the donuts. Hopefully I still get to view the replay after doing the donuts. Well, this is lame. I mean, the truck won't go anywhere and there's no smoke. It's not throwing up any dust. So yeah, Stuart Friesen ran up front all night long after starting behind me. And then he got passed by Mike Harmon and Christian Winkers on the last lap. Grand Infinger had a solid day finishing sixth, but we got points to get away from him. Austin Hill is nowhere in sight. Oh my god, there's Matt Crafton, got lapped. That's about half the field lap down, but I guess that makes sense. It's a short track. It's all dirty and messy. Austin Hill finished 29th, so he is completely out of the picture now. I think Grand Infinger was the one that was mostly in the picture for quite a while, to be honest. And here are the point standings after that race. We are 17 points behind Stuart Friesen. I'll see you guys tomorrow when we do the regular season finale at Michigan International Speedway, the Corrigan Oil 200, where hopefully I won't be as annoyed by the intensity of the championship points battle. It's 17 points. That can be gained in just the stages if the guy just chokes. 
Otherwise, it can be done accumulative throughout like all the different stages of the race. And I'm not going to be using a custom setup because Michigan is always one of the easier tracks in the NASCAR Heat Series. Going to have to count on track position and you know, getting big runs with a draft. It's that kind of track with these low horsepower trucks. See you next time. That's that and episode over.